Happy dinner time, everybody. The Pine Ridge boys basketball team racked up a 21 and one record en route to earning the number four seed for the Class A state tournament. This afternoon, the Thorpes hit the court over at the Monument for a first round matchup against fifth seeded Dakota Valley. Pine Ridge looking to build on its strong season against the two time defending champs. Panthers guard Luke Bruns has a force to be reckoned with. Bruns lifts to the top of the key, buries it from distance. Dakota Valley out to the early lead. Marvin Richard the third led Pine Ridge in the first gets a steal takes it the length of the floor yes and it counts the basket and the foul Richard the third had 14 of the Thorpe 17 first quarter points Jackson Wingard also one of the top players in the tournament he goes to work on the block starts middle drop steps converts a layup also picks up the foul heat check for Marvin Richard the third falling away from the basket Anthony Steele on the assist and it is nothing but net Richard the third poured in 30 points today. Jackson Winger keeps piling on for the Panthers though. Bruns drives and shoots long. Winger gets his fingertips on it and puts it up and in. And Dakota Valley hangs on to win a good game. They beat Pine Ridge 62 to 58 is the final score. In the first game over at the Monument today, Vermillion taking on top seeded and undefeated Sioux Falls Christian. Vermillion's Connor Warrig gets the Tanner just started, driving across the lane, kissing it off the glass with the right. Tied up at two in the first. Sioux Falls Christian's Brent Wasnar quickly changes that. The freshman steps up, drains it from deep as the Chargers Jump out to the early three point lead. Now, Carter Hansen, he isn't afraid of six foot ten at Griffin at Goodberry inside. Hansen going right at him, floats the rock over the top and seeks it right in. Tanager's hanging around in this one. Goodberry took over from there. He's not just an inside presence. The junior takes it from the outside all the way into the paint. Gets it to go with the foul. Nice looking play there. Then on the defensive end, Tanagers get the offensive rebound and the missed shot. And Goodberry, well, he's going to block this shot back to half court. The Chargers cruise in the quarterfinals 74 48 over Vermillion. They will face Dakota Valley in tomorrow night's semifinals. The White River Boys basketball team delivered another strong season. The Tigers racked up a 21 2 record, about to earning the top seed for the Class B State Tournament in Aberdeen. This afternoon, Eldon Marshall's guys took on Viborg Hurley. And White River takes care of business, winning by the score of 72 57. Jordan Ulier led the way with 21 points. Nick Marshall chipped in with 20. The Tigers will face fifth seeded Howard in tomorrow night's semis as the Tigers knocked off Wessington Springs 53-38. At the AA State Tournament in Sioux Falls, top seeded Mitchell defeated Sioux Falls Jefferson 69-61. Sioux Falls Washington got past Roosevelt 52-45. The Colonels will play the Rough Riders in tomorrow night's semifinals. So good afternoon action, Jack, at the uh, State Boys State Basketball Tournaments. Pine Ridge with a great effort today. Just coming up a little bit short against Dakota Valley losing by just four points. Thorpe's will look to bounce back tomorrow in consolation action. So what's up at the state tournament tonight, Vic? Well, more games over at the uh, Monument tonight at 745. Rapid City Christian will be on the court to take on uh, Sioux Valley. And I'll have the highlights of that game, plus all your other scores from around the state back here tonight at 9 and 10 o'clock.